Hey guys, welcome back in TypeScript 5 for Absolute Beginner series. In this sixth lecture, we will see introduction to classes, inheritance, and polymorphism. And in detail, this lecture will cover introduction to classes and objects, constructors and methods, inheritance and polymorphism, and access modifiers like private, protected, and public. First, let's see what is a class. Class is a blueprint for creating objects, defining their structure and behavior through properties or data and methods or functions. Let's create our first class. First, we need to write a class keyword and then name of the class. Here, I'm giving the name person to this class. And in its parentheses, first I need to define its properties and then its methods. First name of type string and last name of type string. Now I need to write the method whose name is get full name and it will return us a string. So this is our class. Now one of the most basic difference between both the classes and interface is if you want to create and pass a type check class object, you should use TypeScript classes. But if you need to work without creating an object, then you need to use interface. Now let's create an object of this class. This object's properties have default values, but I can change it. So I'm assigning new values to these both the properties, first name and last name. This was one of the most basic example of class and its object. Next, we have constructors and methods in classes. Constructors used to initialize class instances and invoked upon object creation. Methods define behavior and actions associated with that class object. Now, as you can see, this class containing two properties and one method, not having any constructor. Basic difference between both the constructor and methods in TypeScript is we can't define multiple constructors in TypeScript like other programming languages because it doesn't support multiple constructors but we can define more than one methods or functions now if i want to receive the values of first name and last name at the time of object creation then i will pass these both the values to the constructor it is important in typescript to initialize properties either at the time of their definition or in the constructor now as i mentioned earlier in typescript we can't create multiple constructors but we can create multiple methods here i'm going to create another method or function is greetings as you can see now our previous object showing us an error because we need to pass these two values first name and last name in the constructor so these are the methods and constructors of classes in typescript Next, let's talk about the inheritance. Inheritance allows a class to inherit properties and methods from a parent class, and it is for promoting the code reusability. Now, let's see an example of inheritance. First, this student class is going to inherit this person class, and for inheritance, we use this keyword extends. Now, this student class will inherit both the properties first name and last name from the person class, and I want to add additional property course in this. For initializing this course property, I need to define the constructor. But in constructor, first we need to pass the properties of parent class and then we need to pass the, the child class property. Now before initializing our course property in constructor, we need to call the base class constructor. For that, I'm going to use super keyword. And this is the way we can define inheritance in TypeScript. Next, we have polymorphism. Polymorphism allows different objects to be treated as if they are the same type, making code simpler and more flexible. Now for implementing the polymorphism, first I'm having two classes, student and teacher, that both inherited from person class. As you can see that I implemented get full name function in both the classes student and teacher, which was inherited from the person class. When multiple classes inherit from a parent and override the same functionality, then the result is called polymorphism. Each of those child classes now implements a property or method 
but they each may have their own way of performing that implementation. This is what polymorphism is. Next, we have access modifiers. Access modifiers control visibility and accessibility of class members. Now, we have three types of access modifiers in TypeScript, public, private, and protected. Public accessible from anywhere or default, private accessible only within the class, and protected accessible within the class and its subclasses. As in class person, I have defined first name and last name. I haven't written any access modifier with it, which means by default these both are public and we can access them from anywhere. Now let's write private with this first name, which means that I can't access this first name property outside the class. As you can see with now person one object can't access first name. One thing you need to remember here is that we can't access private members in their drive classes too. Now if I want to access the parent class properties in their child classes but I don't want to expose them outside the class then we can write the protected access modifier with those parent class properties. Now I can access them in the child classes. And this is it for today. Hope you understand the entire lecture and these all the concepts. If you have any question or query, you can ask in comments. And if this lecture is helpful for you, then please like, subscribe and share my channel. Thanks for watching.